Welcome to Blue Helm Space News Brief. On this day in 1960, the Corona Satellite Discoverer 14 took the first U.S. photograph of a Soviet airfield from space. Today is Tuesday, August 18th. ArabSat said it plans to spend $300 million on the manufacture, launch, insurance, and ground infrastructure for the satellite called Batter 8, an all-electric satellite. All-electric satellites move slower than their chemically propelled counterparts, but require less volume for fuel, leaving more room for revenue-generating payloads. Batter 8 will also carry an experimental photonics feeder link from Airbus called Telio to demonstrate optical communications that Airbus says will be, quote, highly robust, unquote, against signal jammers. Kaimita Core announced today the acquisition of Leptin Global Solutions LLC, a Virginia-based satellite services specialist. Under the terms of the deal, Leptin Global Solutions will become a wholly owned Kaimita subsidiary. With the acquisition, Kaimita deepens its expertise in offering communication services to U.S. government agencies that have expressed interest in purchasing an, quote, entire connectivity solution rather than hardware alone. Kaimita Executive Chairman Doug Hutchinson told Space News, quote, Leptin over the years has done a great job at providing that solution, unquote. Skylo, a Silicon Valley satellite communication startup, announced a partnership today with Sony Semiconductor Israel, a company formerly known as Altair Semiconductor. Sony Semiconductor Israel and Skylo plan to develop and deploy cellular chipsets that can connect over geostationary satellite networks by taking advantage of a narrow band Internet of Things, IoT, protocols. With the new partnership, Skylo and Sony will be the first firms to deploy cellular IoT chipsets based on narrow band and IoT protocols established to work with 5G networks, according to the news release. NASA announced August 14th it will establish a Mars Sample Return Independent Review Board to examine the agency's current plans to return samples from Mars, which started with the Mars 2020 mission launched July 30th. The board will be chaired by David Thompson, a former president of Orbital ATK. Jeff Grambling, who is the Mars Sample Return Program Director, said, quote, The goals of the review are to make sure we're on a firm foundation technically going forward, to review the concepts that have been developed to date, and also to look at the cost and the schedule that we are proposing, and to make sure that they agree and that we've got the right resources we need to do this job, unquote. So listen, let's get real. You got to do something with those important documents you have lying around, whether it's for business or personal, residential or commercial. Future Shredding will provide contactless, on-site shredding right to you. You can watch it being shredded right inside the truck. It's awesome. Since 2007, they've been around shredding in Southern California. If that's something you need, go to their website at www.futureshredding.com or give them a call at 562-426-0557. Law, Policy, and Events Secure World Foundation and the Agencia Especial Brasileria, or AEB, please forgive my pronunciation, will host a webinar tomorrow, August 19th, on the topic of, quote, opportunities and benefits in space resource utilization. Government space agencies and private companies around the world have already started research into and demonstration projects around the necessary technologies to explore celestial bodies and to use the resources found on those bodies. Accessing these resources will require cooperation between industry and governments both inside of the space sector and outside of it to ensure sustainable activities that provide benefits to all countries. That was a paragraph taken from the website. The link to the article and the webinar will be in the show notes. Tonight is the black moon, which occurs once every 32 months on average, and the next one won't arrive until April 30th, 2022. It is the second new moon in a single calendar month, according to space.com. It is a hot one out there, is it not? We got rolling blackouts in California. We got 130 degrees in the Death Valley. Man, it is time to drink some water, if you feel me. Hey, just so there's no confusion, the articles I present on this podcast are all pre-written, not by me, but by aggregates and news websites that I collect them from. If there's any ever confusion, I do list every single article I quote in the show notes. So if you ever want to look back or, or see it, I hope you guys use those links directly to their websites. This is more of a quick, uh, you know, form podcast that'll bring you the top news headlines in space. For your drive home or on your break. Don't want it to be confused. 
Anyway, as always, you can find us on Instagram or Twitter at Blue Helm Co. I see some of you coming after me. I see ya. And if you really like this podcast, you like the quick, short form, uh, you know, podcast style, please subscribe, rate, and review. We'd love to hear from you. We appreciate you being around here. You can email me at bluehelmco at gmail.com. We appreciate you. Drink your water. I will talk to you tomorrow.